Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs that sell. And as a bonus, if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have a list of five bonus niches that you guys can be working on right now. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can create this design right here and kind of get that, um, that overlapping kind of text uh, design with the solid and the uh, hollow text. So if this is something that you would like to learn how to do, go ahead and stick around. So here we are on Canvas homepage and we will be making a design for a t-shirt today. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the upper right-hand side where you see custom size, go ahead and click that. And then we will be selecting 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That is the standard t-shirt size design. And it will ensure that when you print it, it does print at above 300 DPI. Now, I do prefer to design for the darker colors as they do tend to sell better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by selecting my background color and I will be just selecting black for right now. Now today we're doing a text only design, really cool and simple effect that you can use on all sorts of different niches. For this one, we're doing Valentine's Day. So we are gonna be doing a design that just says, not today Cupid, but in a unique way. And so to start with, we're just gonna hit T on the keyboard and we're just gonna type in Cupid. And now the biggest part of this design is really just picking the font that you want. And you can do any font that you like. It's better if it's bolder. So you want it to be a little bit thicker, a little bit bolder for this to really work. You don't want anything that's too narrow. But beyond that, you can choose anything you like. So I did spend a little bit of time searching and I ended up picking one that was called Bright Harmony. And Bright Harmony is one that I did get off of Creative Fabrica, um, but Canva has all sorts of, you know, fonts that you can choose from. And if you like to go over to Creative Fabrica, you can always download fonts from there and upload them onto Canva to use. And I have tons of those. But this is the font right here, Bright Harmony. It is a nice, big, bold font. And so the very first thing that we're going to do is we are gonna go ahead and make this font an outline. And so to do that, really easy, you're gonna go over to effects and we are just gonna uh, select hollow. And so here is our hollow. Now you can adjust the thickness here depending on how thick or how thin you want it to be. I want it to be, you know, a good thickness, nothing that's too bulky, but something like that'll do. This is set at 38 right now. So let's just go ahead and go with 38. The next thing we're going to do is pick the color of our font. Now you can pick any color that you like. Um, obviously it's Valentine's Day. I'm just going to go with a pink color. So let's go ahead and find a pink that we like. So that's just the regular pink. If you hit pink on the default colors, you can also go up to add new color and you can go ahead and play with it here. So depending on, you know, kind of what shade of pink you want it to be, how dark or how bright you want it to be, you can go ahead and do that. So pick whatever shade of pink that you like. If you pick one that's nice and bright, it'll work really well on both white and dark backgrounds. So, um, this is a good one here because it's going to really pop on the black. But if I was to change this to, let's say, a white t-shirt, it's also going to pop pretty well on the white. So I'm going to go ahead and this is the pink that I'm going to use for this design. And we're going to keep it pretty simple. So the first step now is we are going to save this as, as just an image. So we're going to go over to share. We're going to hit download. It's going to be a transparent background. And we're just going to download this. And then once it's downloaded, we're just gonna go ahead over to our uploads and now we're gonna upload it. So we're gonna go upload files and then just pick, um, just pick your design and go ahead and upload it there. And once you've uploaded it, you should have this kind of copy right here. Now to make it a little easier to work with, I'm gonna go ahead and crop it from the top and the bottom. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring it all the way across the page. When I bring it all the way across the page, it should be the exact same size now as the original. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the original and we're going to go ahead and make it solid again. So we'll just get rid of the hollow. So here is our solid cu Cupid. And now here is our hollow Cupid. And essentially what we're going to be doing is just sort of overlapping these. So you'll have something like this. Make that a little bit tighter in there. And we're going to make 
pretty much four copies of this. So I'm going to just take the, the back cupid, the hollow one. I'm going to hit control D and that'll make another copy. Hit control D again. I'll put another copy down here and control D again and I'll put another copy down here. And so what I essentially have are sort of these overlapping versions. Now, because I don't necessarily like the way that that is overlapping, now what we're going to do is we are going to be cropping it. And so to do that, we're going to start with, you know, whichever one you want at the top. And we're going to crop up from the bottom for the top one. Crop it all the way up. Right there, just like that. And I'm going to pick the next one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to crop it all the way up. And I'm pretty much cropping it to the very top of the word that's below it. And so you can see how that is going. And we'll do it again down here. Start from the top and go ahead and crop all the way to the bottom there and do it one more time. Let's see here and crop that way. And so now you can go ahead and see how this is looking. Now you can create more space in between it too if you want to. So I could have cropped it just a little bit more if I wanted to have just a little bit more space, something like that. So you get a little bit of a black gap, you can do that. Or if you don't want that black gap, you can go ahead and bring it all the way so that it's overlapping a little bit. So that's pretty easy right there, like that. Okay, now next what we're going to do is we're going to put the knot today and the knot today is going to come across at the top and it is also going to overlap a little bit. So to do this, we're going to hit T on the keyboard again, pull up another text box. I'm going to make this nice and big. And now we're going to be selecting a different font for this one. I'm going to do something that's a little bit more scripty, but first I'm just going to go ahead and write not today. And for this one, I have the N and the T capitalized. And it's going to go here and it's going to go at a little bit of an angle, but we're going to pick the scripty font. And again, after looking for a while, I went with one called Almanade, which should actually be towards the top of my normal fonts here. There it is. This is also one that I got off of Creative Fabrica. I do have a link in, um, in the description below this video. So if you guys want to go over to Creative Fabrica, um, you can always download this font or any font and upload it onto Canva. So I'm going to go ahead, take this. I want to make it a certain size, a certain angle. I want it to kind of overlap just a smidge. Maybe, depends how big I want this to be. Maybe something like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a black background around it. So I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go ahead and add an outline and I'm going to make that outline black. Okay. So in doing that, now we just get that little gap here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a background remover on this. And that's going to really help to kind of get that cutout look. So I'm going to make that black bold enough. There we go. So I've got it at a 71 right now. So relatively bold and that looks pretty darn good. I like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save this now as an image. So we'll go over to save. We're going to hit download. We'll do exactly what we did before. Only this time, it's not going to be a transparent background. You're going to save it exactly as is with the black background. So go ahead and just hit download as is. And we're going to go over to uploads and go ahead and upload that. Perfect. And once you get it uploaded, let's go ahead and just add a page down here. So click the add a page button and we'll put our uploaded version right there. And now just so that you guys can see that we get the background remover, I'm going to temporarily change the background of this to white. So now you can see that I've got um, the black box here. And so now we're going to do what's essentially going to be a background remover and it's going to get rid of all of the black. So go ahead, hit background remover, give it a second. Hopefully this works perfectly. Usually it does. And there you go. So that looks really good. And what we get is the cutout around the knot today. So I'm going to go ahead and crop this in from the bottom, make it nice and big so you guys can see it. Right. And so what we're getting is those gaps around the knot today. And so this is looking pretty good. I like it. Now, 
because this is now a graphic and not just the font that you had up here, if you're getting some overlapping that you don't like, like here or here, any of those overlaps that you don't like, if you really wanted to, you could go here, we could go to edit. And then at this point, we could use the magic eraser. So I could use the magic eraser. I can zoom in on any part I want to work on, bring my brush size down. And let's say I didn't want, you know, this area right here. I could go ahead and just sort of erase that. And so any areas that are sort of overlapping that you don't like, like in here, any of those areas that you see that maybe are bothering you a little bit here, for example, you can go ahead, zoom in and erase those. So I went ahead and deleted a couple of areas here where there was some overlap that I didn't like. So I can go ahead and just hit erase and it should get rid of any of that unwanted overlap if you've got that. It obviously depends on the font that you chose, how that's going to look. But once I did that, I no longer had, you know, things that were overlapping there and there. So it looks a lot better as though this layer is actually on top of this layer and we're not getting the overlap as much. So then I go ahead and hit this back button there. And there is the design, pretty easy to do. Now, if you did wanna add something like a heart or something to this, I mean, I could go elements, I could go maybe heart or heart with arrow. Let's see, heart with an arrow through it or broken heart or whatever you liked. And you could add a graphic to it then if you wanted to. So, I mean, I think it looks pretty good the way it is, but let's say I wanted to add something like this at the bottom. That way it kind of gave it that same weight from the top to the bottom. I'm going to change the color there. And you can see the way that that kind of looks. And I could even, if I wanted to, angle it a little bit more, even so that the angle matched that on the bottom or at the top and the bottom kind of had the same general angle. And there you go, pretty simple, easy design. It is now ready to download and go up on anything that I want. Now, because this is the second page, I'm gonna retitle it, just not today, Cupid. And I'm gonna put cutout, so I know that this is the final cutout version. And we're gonna go ahead to share and download. Now you're gonna want the transparent background for this one. And then we're going to go ahead and select just page two. That's the only one we want. And we can hit done. And we will now download that as a PNG, transparent background, and ready to go up on anything you like. Obviously, I made this for a shirt, but there would be nothing stopping you from taking this and putting it on a sweatshirt or a tote bag or just about any product that you'd like. You can just sort of resize it to fit. Um, you could also make it into a sticker, obviously. It's already got the white background that works. Um, and you can use this technique for just about any design style that you like. So it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. You can use this for anything. Um, and so very useful, um, you know, style for you guys to learn. If you did find that useful, let me know in the comment section below. I do try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. And I do read all the comments. And thank you so much for all of the nice words. It means a lot to me. Um, if there's anything that you would like to see on the channel or any you know general questions you have about print on demand, go ahead and put those in the comment section below. Um, I also have a Facebook and an Instagram page. So we're trying to build a little bit of a community here. Um, and so you guys can communicate with each other on the Facebook page. That is in the link in, below this video. And then of course, as promised, I do have the five bonus niches. And if you find those useful, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below on that one as well. So as promised, I have your five bonus niches right here. These are Valentine's Day niches that you can be working on right now. Number one, sucker for you. It could also be I'm a sucker for you and you can use graphics like literal suckers. Number two, dead inside, but it's Valentine's. That is a scalable one. So I have seen that done for all sorts of things, dead inside, but blank. Number three, Sorry, this beard is taken. Number four, if I had feelings, they'd be for you. And then number five, I crush hearts. I've seen this on little kids' shirts with dinosaurs, monster trucks. Be as creative as you want there. So um, 
hopefully you can find these useful. Start working on them right now as Valentine's Day is obviously coming up here in a couple months, month and a half. So you want to be working on those. I hope you guys found this video useful and I do hope to see you guys obviously again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.